Adam here with another garden table recipe. This time I'll be using some homegrown potatoes to make a loaded baked potato soup. I just finished peeling my potatoes. That's an optional step. You can leave the skin on if you prefer. But now I'm gonna boil these potatoes until they're nice and soft. The first step to making this baked potato soup is to fry your bacon. So the bacon just finished cooking and now I'm gonna take all the bacon out of the pan and use the leftover bacon grease to make a roux. Now I'm gonna use this roux to help thicken up the baked potato soup, but you can use a roux basically for any type of sauce or soup you wanna thicken up. To do that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cornstarch to the grease and stir it around until we have a nice smooth consistency. The next thing I'm adding to this loaded baked potato soup are some freshly grown onions that I grew myself in my own backyard. I don't have a ton of onions left, so I'm just gonna be adding what I have, but I would have liked to have a little bit more, so you might wanna add a little extra onions than what I'm adding, but I'm trying to keep it as close to homegrown as possible, so I don't wanna add things from, let's say, the grocery store that I don't have to. So the next step in this soup is to add two cups of whole milk. Gonna add a cup of heavy cream to, to the soup as well. I'm also gonna add four cups of chicken bone broth to this loaded baked potato soup. We're also gonna add about four cups of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Next step, we're adding some fresh herbs that I picked right from my garden. I got some onion and garlic chives and some fresh thyme. So I'm going to add a little bit more cornstarch to this soup to help it thicken up a little bit more. I think it just needs a little bit, but you don't wanna add the cornstarch directly to your soup. You want to add some liquid in here and then mix it up make sure you get all the chunks out and then you can put it back into your soup so this is a loaded baked potato soup so i'll be adding some sour cream to this soup as well we're also going to season this soup to our liking with some ancient sea salt and don't forget your black pepper now that the soup's almost done we want to add our bacon to the soup that was how I make my loaded baked potato soup using garden to table ingredients. If you found any information in this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more gardening and garden to table videos. Thanks for watching.